Hi everybody, it's Penny. And today we're gonna start our first Nutribullet blast. So here's the Nutribullet machine we had. It's been sitting in a box for over two years. And since I've been diagnosed with breast cancer, I decided to cut out hormones as much as I could and to cut out these bad things in my body and to only eat things from the ocean or from a tree or from the ground. So, and organic as much as I can go. Yes, it is more expensive, but so is eating fried foods at Red Lobster. So, besides the fact of looking for these super cancer-fighting power foods, we'll go through each one of them, I also, in addition to that, I started to exercise and eating right. So, the shake I'm going to make tonight is blast, and I'm telling you right now, I hope I don't gag because... I am not a person, I do not like, I might be a person of color because I'm black, but I do not like to drink colors. So to drink colors is going to be something interesting. And I know a lot of times these, these videos don't show what the contents are. But I'm going to show you the contents. So what we have are flaxseed and that has the omega-3 in it. We also have chia seed, which also helps with digestive health, um, with water retention, to um, reduce that. Uh, flaxseed also has, uh, it helps you with digestive health as well. It helps you with cardiovascular health. Uh, and it has those ALAs. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what the other one is yet. I'm still new to this. Pomegranate, and this is pomegranate juice because I couldn't find the pomegranate seeds or the pomegranate itself. It wasn't, um, the Whole Foods store didn't have it. So I have pure pomegranate. I'm just going to put a splash of that in there. Almond silk. I gave up milk uh, once I had my breast cancer diagnosis uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, actually, it's going to be a month on tomorrow. will be a month for my diagnosis of, uh, excuse me, when I discovered the lump. We also have over here, we have arugula. We, no, I'm sorry. I think that's kale. That's kale, I think. That's kale. That's spinach, arugula, and I put some peaches in here because I know I'm just, I don't know how this is going to taste. And I know once you put something green in it, it's going to turn the whole thing green. Uh, so this is some grapefruit, two pieces of watermelon, and some honey. I'm not really a honey person, but I'm trying to do anything I can to make it sweeter. Um, pomegranate, I was trying to tell someone what it tastes like. Pomegranate tastes like baby food. Bland, bitter, baby food. So we're going to start by putting so many things into the Nutribullet. So we just want to get you the ingredients first. Because I know a lot of times people don't give you the ingredients. And, oh, I almost forgot <laughs> two more things. I'm sorry. We have here some tamarick. And we have some dates. So I think that's everything here. And I also took a screenshot. You'll see after this slide so you can see how to what to put in it and we'll get back to blasting in a minute we'll see you in a second back. and now it's time to get everything into our neutra bullet so tonight tonight helping me it's my husband antonio hello how are you and he's going to be our blaster so let's just start loading these things into here so time to take a screen while i put this in here and the first thing we're putting in is the arugula. Then we're going to put in the spinach. We're going to put in the kale. We're going to put in these dates that look like turds. We're going to put in a turmeric or tamaric. I don't know how to pronounce this. We're going to put in three little slices uh, peaches to make it a little bit sweeter. We're going to put in some watermelon. Okay, I hope let's push this stuff down. <laughs> and I'm going to cut this grapefruit because I don't think we have enough room for all that. Grapefruit. We're going to put a splash of the pomegranate juice in here. 
a little messy. Sorry about that. We're going to take a spoonful of the flaxseed. We're going to take some chia seed, another half a spoonful of chia seed. Put that in here. And we're going to take a, our last item. It's going to be some honey. Ooh, these plastic spoons. So I hope it doesn't break on me, guys. Let's just push it in here. Ugh. Now, got everything in here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put in the almond silk. On the Nutribullet, there's a max line right here on the Nutribullet. There's a max line. And so what you want to do is you're not going to put your liquid in beyond that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's our max line. So that's it for that. Back, so right now we're getting ready to get started. Right now, Tony is putting on the blades. These are the pulsating blades that you put on the neutral bullet. You put the neutral bullet on top of the machine. Really, you're going to turn in a counter, let's see, a clockwise direction and keep pulsating, pulsating, pulsating. Okay, that should be good. So you're going to start by counterclockwise. Counterclockwise should turn it. You're going to look at it to see how it looks. It looks emulsified. We look at it to see how it looks with your hand at the way. So you can see the picture. It looks pretty good. So Tony's taking off the blade now and he's changing the top so that I can actually have this drink that as you can see is green. Ooh. I thought it had a nice handy dandy handle. I guess not. So here's a drink for you, and let's see how it goes. Back, and right now, as you can see, we have over here the handy dandy Nutribullet drink that has all the ingredients we discussed, and um, it smells like grass from outside. And um, I'm just gonna do this. Jesus be a fence. It's not bad actually. If I can get used to the taste of drinking grass, something in here is chewy, so I probably should have had it pulsate a little bit longer um, but um, if I can get the use to the taste of grass I probably can do this I'll probably do the rest of this with a straw and get this down so here's to you Nature Bullet and a healthy life and beating breast cancer survivor mode okay guys I tried here we go this is gonna be interesting I'm just gonna gulp it I always said that I'll just gulp it if I had to because it's for my health right here we go. Something chunky went down my throat. I don't know what that chunky stuff was. Jeez. 
Jesus loves me. I don't know if anything with spinach in it to drink can ever taste good, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't taste the... I don't taste the grapefruit. I don't taste anything but kale, spinach, and arugula. It's all I taste. Oh my gosh, I'm not even halfway through. I mean, does it drink the whole thing? Oh, let me tell you, these got this comes with smaller cups. So maybe I should try it with a smaller cup to start off with. See the Nutra, the, the Nutra smaller cup one? Yeah. I probably should start with that one. Um, this might have been a bit much for me to do. Um, I'm going to try, guys. And after this, it's going to have to be for tomorrow morning. I mean, I did half a cup. That was a lot. It, it, it was rough. It's just, I got to get used to the grass taste. I heard you get used to it. And I'll get used to it. Here we go. Relax the muscles. Relax the muscles. Relax them. Relax them. All right, I drank this. This is a lot, and um, yeah, the rest is going to be for breakfast or my lunch. So, here's your health survivor mode. So I just transferred the remaining amount in the smaller on the go on um, blast, which is probably what I should have started with. And as you can see, I drank more than half of the first one so this will probably be for my lunch um, or at, right after breakfast okay so I guess my first advice would be to start off small start with the smaller cups if you're not used to drinking stuff like this it's a little bit rough but I did it I didn't gag and um I'm just gonna think that grass is green <laughs> the grass is greener on the other side with neutral bullet take care